today I'm going to make a card for a lovely lady who passed her test this morning. First of all, I've got a picture of a car. You don't have to print it out. You could just look at one on a computer screen or a picture of one. But it's really just to give me the idea of the shape of the car. I've got some white card here, which I'm going to fold in half. And this will be the base of the card. I have some red paper which is going to be the car. I want the car to be approximately this long and maybe about this high. So I'm going to cut this sheet of paper down and this will give me an idea of the size of the car. I've got some orange card for the lights and some black card for um, the wheels. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a rough outline of the shape of the car. So it goes around like that here. That goes. I want it to be a little bit more bubble shaped than this car that's here. So I want the roof to be a little bit higher. And then the front of the car almost around there up like that um, we've got the wheels which I'll probably use a circle to and then the car comes along there um, we've got the center of the car here and the windows, again, I'm going to do quite bubbly. And the front one, I'm going to do a little bit lower. Um, the light will be round about there and the back light round about there. So now I'm just going to cover these lines in Sharpie just so that I can see them. I'm going to go straight across here because I want to put the wheels on, um, the wheels stuck on top. And that's the rough shape of the car, which I'm now going to cut out. I'm not going to cut the wheels out yet. I'm going to do that after. And I'm going to cut just slightly outside of the black line. I'm going to cut the windows out. Again, just on the side of the black lines, so there's a slight border. And I've deliberately chosen um, a cartoony shape. Now I could die cut the circles out, but um, lots of people don't have die cutters. So just find something that's round, that's the size that you think the wheels will look right on. And I think that's probably about the size that I'd like the wheels. front wheel and a back wheel and we'll cut these out. If you turn the wheel over then any pencil lines won't show 
And even if they're not completely circular, it doesn't matter. It's just getting the, the rough shape. And because it's a cartoony car, then they won't stand out. So we've got the two wheels. Um, I'm probably going to put the wheels about there. So I'm going to add the wheels. I'm going to overlap the bottom a bit, but that doesn't matter. So one wheel there. One wheel there. And now I'm going to cut out the rest of the red. At this point, I am going right up to the, the wheel so that the red's not showing. I'm going to draw a wheel arch. And now I want to put the lights on. I'm going to do the, the, the back ones in orange rather than red because obviously if I do red, it won't show up. Um, so to get a rough idea of the size of the light, I'm just going to draw around that. So that should fit there. Um, so I need to cut a little bit off there because it's overlapping and then I want it to just go around like that. And if there are any pencil lines showing, just use an eraser. Just check that that looks okay. Yeah, that's quite happy with that. So put some glue on that. I'm going to put that on. The front light, light I'm going to do white. So I've got some white card. And I'm going to do it similarly to the way I did the back one. Rub the pencil marks out. any pencil marks that are still on the car. I've got some silver card here um, and I'm going to do the centre of the wheels. Again, cut them out. If you turn your card rather than your scissors, you tend to get a slightly better cut. I've got a fine liner here, so I'm just going around the edge of the lights. Not quite to the edge, just slightly in from the edge. I'm going to make a black door handle. Um, and that I'm just going to, it's just going to be shaped like this tree. Oh, that's probably a bit big. Maybe a little bit smaller than that. It's almost like a skinny rainbow shape. Glue this up. I want to fold this sheet of paper in half, but if I just fold it, the fold line won't be very neat. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to figure out where the halfway mark is. So I'm just going to just put a little pencil mark there, put it on my folding board. If you don't get it exactly straight, it doesn't matter because you can trim the end off. So that's approximately there.
and then to rub out the pencil mark if you see where the the score line is that should help it to fold so that will be the base of the card we've got our car that goes here i think i'm going to do a little bit of road for the car I'm just going to cut out a wavy line Glue the road on. And I've got a white pen, which I'm going to just draw a, a line down the middle of the road to look like the centre of the road. The next thing I want to do is draw the person that's sitting in the car. So I have some cream card here. I'm going to put the card down and just draw around the window. And I'm going to cut that out, but leave a little bit of a border. And this is just so that I can see where to draw my picture so there's the now I'm just drawing a very simplified version so it won't be very precise so we've got a forehead and a nose got a mouth and a chin going in there then we've got the, the body coming down there um, and my friend has got very long, dark hair. Okay, I'm going to use a fine liner just to colour this in. So if you've made any mistakes when you've still got it in the pencil, you can always correct it. So I think the hair should go a little bit further back. And if you go over the lines, that's fine as well. And then she's got hair that comes down like this. a rough version of a face
starting to colour the hair in in brown. dry So there's the window. First of all, I'm going to draw an oval. Divide the face in half. I'm going to do one eye here, one eye here. If I divide that in half, that will be round about where the nose ends. And halfway along that will be where the lips are. And then doing a hair. Neck. Shoulders. And that depends on whether the hair. Let's go and let's give her a, a top. And to do the eyes with a fine liner. Just two little bits like that and then a little bit in the middle for the nose. A red pen for a nice smile because she's very happy. I think I'll give her a, a red top. And to rub the pencil lines out on the face. I've got to do a chin. So I'll do the, the jumper a little bit lower and then it doesn't matter quite so much if I don't get it in the car. Now she's got brown hair, but I haven't got a very, a darkish brown, so. And to colour her hair in a, in a lighter brown. And I'm going to use a slightly darker brown pen to draw some hair. And some fine black as well. Just going to put that behind my car to see how it looks. pleased with that so now I'm going to cut out the shape and I'm going to glue this inside the window
and I'm going to try to make a steering wheel. So I'm doing that sort of shape, cut that out. Look and see what this looks like, if it's a good shape. A little bit of glue on the top and the bottom. And just position that on the other side of the window. Okay, so let's see how it's looking. Okay, I'm going to get some blue card. So here, and I'm going to draw like a shape like that and I'm going to tear it out so I get rough edges I don't want it to be smooth let's see what that looks like Now, this lady's car has got flowers on it, um, and they're red flowers. So I'm just going to draw a few flowers on the car just to make it so that it's her car. I'm going to make an L plate, or I might make a couple of L plates. L in them. And to outline the L's. And the edges of the L plate so they stand out a little bit more. Don't be too precise. Make sure that you make it more sketchy looking rather than perfect. I'm going to tear one in half. lines like this it looks like the car is moving and I'm just going to put some letters just to put past down the bottom to colour the flowers in a little bit even though they're still red see if it'll make them stand out a little bit this is a slightly pinkier red fill in the, the middles in black and that's 
my card finished. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe and like. And if you'd like to put any comments or if there's anything that you would like me to show you how to make, please let me know in the comments. Thank you very much. Goodbye.